All right, I'm back out here in the woods to harvest some walnut logs. Got Billy saws a lot, scouting around, picking the trees we're gonna cut. I think he said we're gonna do this one right here first. The big difference out here is these, these trees go straight up. Or, you know, mine have a 40, 50 foot wide canopy. This is a lot, lot less weight overhead, but should be able to drop it right over here. It might hit a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't hang up. Brought the same saw combination I used in yesterday's video. Got the 500i with the 25 inch bar and then that 194T top handle saw. At one point I thought, well, I'd like to buy a 462 so I can do comparisons to mine till they went. They're already high. Yeah. Now my saw was a thousand dollars a year ago. It's fifteen hundred and sixty yeah. or something now. Not a whole lot to think about with this, is there? Nope. Just cut her down. Well, I don't know that I messed anything up, so what am I going to talk about? Okay. I don't think I messed anything up, so what am I going to talk about? I don't know. It's I usually the main we did one right. The main conversation is usually my mistakes. You want to take the next one? What's that? You want to get the next one? Yeah, I can. So we're going right here. Hard leaner. Yeah. Doesn't matter to me. I don't mind doing it. I'm going to have to do some cleaning up around the bottom first.
going to walk around to the back so every time I've done that a few times where oh I always think of that trigger including the bark and you have to discount that yeah. the barks not part of the trigger it's yeah. not doing anything otherwise that was pretty smooth you're right above your face cut your hinge was the right width everything except probably could have cut the trigger from the back but yeah I, I'd love that sound all day what I love that sound when they crack and pop and fall. Yeah. That's my well, favorite part of it. Popped on the back and pulled from low. Yeah. Didn't barber chair it. Yeah, I mean, who would do that? Both ends are supported, it means compression's on the top. I'll cut the top first, then cut through the bottom.
So this is the same kind of tree we've been cutting. It's got a little bit more weight that way, but we really want it to come this way. Not Nothing too excessive. I think I'm gonna cut from the back on this one. You guys have to take a drink every time he tries to run the saw without uh, unlocking the bar. Pour it up. Once I got started, what I decided to do was try to leave a thick hinge over here and a thin one over there. So it'll twist to the side with the fiber. Yeah. Because I didn't line my face cut up as far as that way as I thought I should. And then I thought, I, I know that's a trick that can work. He's cut thin hinge there and thick here. Okay. And then the fact that I left that hinge was so thick when I saw it start to open. Some guys keep cutting when it starts to open. As soon as I see it separate, I leave. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If you give it hell, that, that's what I was saying. Once it starts to go, you give it hell, then I think you could have avoided that. But like, you gotta stay in the danger zone longer. You're in it, you, you may tear up a few logs, but you ain't ever gonna get killed getting out of the way. Right, and it's maybe the first 10 inches of that yeah. kind of split, so. And it bells out there anyway, so that was gonna be, I think the better strategy probably is the board cut there, but it's down. Just looking at it, this confused me because it's got weight on it down there. No, it doesn't. And not now. It did until I took that off. Well, I think it was very limited already because yeah. the whole thing I was talking about in yesterday's video is if that has weight on it, then it's trying to come down here. The top's being compressed. You cut the top first. But this cut opened as I was sawing. Yeah, it was the weight of those limbs out there on the other side of its fulcrum was pushing up on this end. Well, we 
we kind of decided we wanted to split this up and do a day of sawing and then a day of loading rather than bring the skid loader every trip. So the next trip out here, I'll bring the skid loader. We'll load these up, cut a few more, probably get two loads of logs out the next time I'm here. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.